Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and happy holiday weekend. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes like the one I have to share with you today, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, and even some home decor. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos or announce giveaways or go live. Speaking of giveaways, I do have one going on right now. You can always find out more information over on the community tab or in the link that I'll leave for you in the description box below. As always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so, so much for being here and spending part of your day with me. I have some exciting giveaways planned for the month of December as well, so definitely stay tuned for that. Today though, I am very excited because I have my second My French Country Home Box to share with you. So I think the subscription might have been called My Stylish French Box once upon a time, but now I think it's just under the bigger umbrella of the brand by French Country Home by Sharon Santoni. They put out a gorgeous magazine and they also do a luxury French subscription box. But you guys know I'm all about the luxury French subscription boxes, but I've been looking for one that actually arrives on time. Now this is my splurge box. It is definitely pricey. It is $255 per quarter. If you're able to do a year subscription, you do save some money. It brings it down to $980. So that's kind of my dream subscription one day to be able to go ahead and subscribe for an entire year. I will leave a link for you in the description box below. Now this box does come in a beautiful outer box so it's nice and hard so it makes this beautiful magnetic box stay nice and clean, pristine and white and I did keep the one from the last seasons in pristine condition so that I can use it for storage and I love that they're all the same so far so I can kind of stack them and really get my life organized in my closet. So in case you didn't see it does have this gorgeous gold emblem on it and a little tiny ribbon loop to kind of open up the magnetic closure box. It is stuffed to the gills this time so there's like a little tiny crack on the corner but I think it'll still be fine for what I want to use it for. And then inside you guys this is the beautiful tissue paper and satin bow. Now you can for an additional cost get the magazine sent to you and that would come on top of this box in the outer box. I did not do that this time but let's go ahead and and open this up so that we can get to the nice pamphlet, the brochure, the book that they include. It's like full color pages to tell us all about the brands that they have included in the box for the season. And I believe that they always include a vintage item. And I have to tell you, I love the little porcelain bud vase that I got in my first box. So like I said, this is a splurge. I kind of toyed around with getting their 12 days of Christmas or Les 12 jours de Noël box, but I decided to go ahead and get a another quarterly box just because maybe I will have the funds to go ahead and do an entire year and decide if it is something that I want to keep bringing to the channel. So let me go ahead. I'm trying not to tear the tissue paper too much because it's all so pretty. So I did pull the magazine out and this is what it looks like. So lovely. So this isn't actually the magazine. This is like the magazine for the box, but she always does a nice sort of layout so you can actually see all of the contents in one image, but we will take a look a little bit more. So the theme for box number 20 is chalet living. So this is the winter box. So I don't get much chalet living here in San Diego, no snowy winters here, but I just kind of love that idea. It says in the winter time, the annual, the traditional mountain chalet is synonymous with warmth and comfort. We love having a cozy place to call home where we can unwind and warm up after a long day of skiing. Some après ski time sounds good. Some of the most luxurious chalets are found in the French Alps. We hope to bring a bit of chalet living into your home wherever you are. So look at this image you guys of this like gorgeous rustic lodge where you can take your ski boots off for the day and have a nice hot toddy or something. That sounds awesome to me. Let me know in the comments below if you are a skier or a snowboarder or any kind of uh, mountain or snow sports. I haven't gone snowboarding in years. I never was very, very good at it because think about it, I did grow up in Hawaii, so I didn't have many opportunities to learn snow sports, but I did give both skiing and snowboarding a try. But my favorite part, of course, after a nice long day was to uh, kind of warm up by a nice fire. And if I could have stayed in a fancy chalet, that would have been even better. So let me go ahead and just kind of keep this in front of me so that 
I can reference it. So this is what the box looks like. You can kind of see all of the items nestled in here. And now I can kind of see the item that is a, a little bit puffier than the rest. That was probably kind of keeping the box from fully closing. So let me see if I can go ahead and pull that out. It is all wrapped up in tissue paper. And of course, like perfectly um, taped with little, little um, stickers. So hopefully I can get into this and slide this out. Wow, whatever this is, the texture of it is so pretty. I love this. It's kind of like a, a heathered gray. It's almost more like taupe because it's definitely got some warmth to it. Look at that knit. Isn't that beautiful? I would like love a sweater in this. But let me see what it is. I don't know if it's like a shawl or a scarf or... Oh, this is kind of interesting. It's a big pillowcase, you guys. So I couldn't tell because I didn't realize that there was a seam a little bit lower in. So that's kind of the edging. I kind of like that. So it's got like floppy edges, but it's pretty big. I'm not sure what size pillow needs to go in it, but how nice to sort of kind of winterify whatever you've got on your bed. I think this is great. I think I have a pillow that might be big enough for it. But again, I kind of wish this was like a scarf or a beanie or something. It says cozy up anywhere in your home with this cozy cushion cover. The cover closes with an invisible zipper. It could be easily used in your living or bedroom made of a wool blend and created exclusively for my French country home. The pillowcase is 45 by 45 centimeters or 17.7 by 17.7. .7. So I guess I could probably find like an 18 by 18 pillow um, to put in there. I'm trying to find the uh, hidden zipper. It is very hidden. I haven't found it quite yet on one of the seams. So I'm trying to feel for it, but I'm sure it's in there it's probably on the last one I'll find it somewhere you guys oh there I'm feeling I'm feeling zipper wow that is a very hidden zipper right there so I will have to let you know how that works maybe I'll show you some photos over on Instagram now even though it's wool it is not itchy like you could wear a sweater of this so I feel like that would be just so cozy to cuddle up with a book and some tea on whatever like your fancy love seat is or for me it's just the corner of the couch that <laughs> has some space on it so I think that is a great thing to start with I'm actually just kind of like putting it in my lap right now as a little blanket and it's kind of working that way too. All right, let's see what else we've got. Let me kind of pull this down. The next item in the box uh, or in the magazine or the booklet, man, I'm going to have to figure out what to call that, is you guys, I'm very excited, a candle. So it does have a little plastic wrap on it. So let me go ahead and see if I can get into that so you don't get all of the glare because even, and of course, the packaging is beautiful. So again, something that is made in France for my French country home by Hipsoe. Hipsoe, so beautiful. So it's got their branding on it. It's kind of in gray with some like beautiful florals, almost like peonies or something. So it says candles are essential to creating a relaxing and cozy environment, especially in a chalet. We asked Hipsoe to create two different cool shades of copper candles to bring a warm touch to your home. Each candle will have one of four lovely scents. The four different scents are anise étoile, the bourbon or thé bourbon, sorry. <laughs> I didn't see the little accent aigu, um, Boreal or Pain d'Epice, one candle per box. So I'm so curious to see. I kind of love that there's some variation in there. And you guys, this is a total mystery box. You do not get to find out what is in the box. There are no spoilers. So that is also why it's kind of a splurge to be spending that this much. But I have to say, I have been pleasantly surprised so far by my first box and this one. So this is really pretty. This is almost more gold than like a coppery color. So I feel like the one that they're showing in the magazine or the booklet is a little bit more um, coppery so I can't tell what the scent is it does have a little plastic cover on it so let me pull that off this is Té bourbon, so t bourbon tea, I guess, so cool. The candles just started to slide out but I love that that means it's definitely a reusable vessel so Oh my gosh, that smells really good. It smells like a little bit spicy and warm in a way, but also without being like too cloying. And then at the same time, there's definitely like a sweetness to it. Now, I wish I could have gotten all of the scents. They might have some of them available in their shop. I would hope that they would, but this is the image that they provided for that. But you can see that beautiful color of that metallic. And I just think that adds a touch of elegance to any setting. So I'm already feeling like a nice chalet uh, experience at home, even here in San Diego, where I've got my nice uh, pillow cover. I've got my candle burning, maybe something yummy and a nice toasty mug. All right, let's see what else we have so I don't know if that I can go completely in order because the next thing is not showing up for me it's a little bit smaller 
but I do see another box within a box and this is so exciting you guys this is like a dream brand one day when I have a bigger kitchen I would love to have an entire set of Le Creuset so of course you guys like an iconic brand I'm so excited that it appeared in here so it's not in the red which I've always like thought I would have a really hard time deciding which color I wanted to do my whole kitchen in I um, do have a couple of pieces and I kind of went with the like cream the like just slightly off-white because I felt like it would always go with everything else but I've also been tempted by the beautiful red color of course because I just think it is so like warm and inviting and like I love red honestly so and I actually have kind of a red and black kitchen now but who knows what it will be like in the future and of course you know the the style right now is very like airy and light and white and modern so who knows but this is really really pretty so let me just show you again the um the red that I'm talking about because it's not just a solid red there's always like kind of like almost like an ombre there's kind of like a vignette style so we got this little um coquette I believe is what it's called so it's this like little mini Le Creuset oh my gosh you guys look at this color though this is stunning I don't know what they call this color it says this stylish blue mini cocotte is perfect for cooking and serving individual dishes or small side plates um plate sides it's also ideal for making your favorite sauces it may be small but it's fabulous more cocotte are available in the my french country home boutique so that is good to know but of course you can always buy things from Le Creuset as well to match if you want even more things besides this this particular style and piece this is so cute I think this would be really cute for like a little dipping sauce I was of course thinking of some like melty cheese almost um, so that sounds like a fondue kind of thing or some like Bernays sauce but of course then if you want a set of four you might need a set of four if you're gonna do something fancy but this is so adorable so if you guys have any good ideas for it let me know that is the piece that I'm super duper excited about because I just don't have very many Le Creuset things and I also really appreciate that it is a little bit on the smaller side so that I can use that as a little accent even like on a big charcuterie board and so that it doesn't take up too much space in my very small kitchen. All right, the next thing I'm seeing is also very soft and wooly, whatever it is. Let me find it here in the magazine, or again, not the magazine, but rather our little booklet. It says it is a pair of gloves by Pipolaki. So what a pretty color. So I think we've been talking about this in some of my other unboxing videos this winter and fall. I love navy and royal blue as a winter color, more so than the traditional reds and greens, even though like a nice emerald green velvet or whatever is gorgeous or a nice deep dark red but I just love blue because it does still feel wintry but of course it's going to transition really well into other months of the year even once the holidays have passed and we all know winter goes well past the holidays these are super soft so it does have like a little kind of cuff like almost folded over and it does have like a cable knit there on that cuff I think you guys can kind of see it there is a little stitched um, label here um, these are actually really nice so this is a brand that I'm not personally familiar with but let me see if I can go ahead and put one one on so these are nice very very nice I could see them being very warm obviously I would probably have to use these for a vacation but I have been doing some travel planning with my husband the last few nights because we get excited around the holidays to think about where we're gonna go we plan way in advance like years in advance but there are definitely some like colder weather trips that might be around the corner so I'm very happy to have that it says gloves are one of the must-have fashion accessories when in the French Alps we have chosen this beautiful blue pair of gloves made from soft well, and cashmere that's why they are so soft and nice it says knitted in France they are per the perfect ally to keep your hand warm it this winter one size fits all and it does seem like they would fit I actually have very long fingers and I didn't feel like I still had like webs between my fingers there when I put them on so very very nice I'm loving the blues for the winter theme all right let's see what else <laughs> this is very cute we've got something like wrapped up with a little stocking sticker so let me see if I can open this up carefully. I don't know why I try to save the packaging. It's like, are you someone who tears into your presents on Christmas or do you like save the, the wrapping paper? I used to be a save the wrapping paper person and now unless it's really fancy wrapping paper, I just kind of go for it, honestly. Ooh, this is 
is exciting. So I get to add to my collection. So we have a thank you gift for subscribers. So you can get one-off boxes, by the way, you guys. So there are some tree pom-poms, which I love these paper ornaments. I think they are so fun. And these are very bright colors. Wow. So they're showing a bunch of different colors. I'll show you in just a moment. So you usually have to just go ahead and put a little like um, paper clip where they come together. Uh, because of my Norley box, I now know that you can get like little magnets, like the ones that you would use maybe on a bulletin board. And you can use magnets on either side, which I think is a great, like easier way to make sure you don't tear anything, but like nice satin little ribbon to hang things with. So very pretty. I got this really bright uh, turquoise. And then I also got, it looks like we got a variety of them. I also got a more traditional green and it looks like they're all, all the ones that I got are round. So they are showing some different shapes in the image. So it looks like there was a, oh, they do have some double stick tape in here that you can do, but I would probably not do the double stick tape because I do like to unfold them later on when I am packing my things away for the holidays. So there is some double stick, stick tape in there, but I would probably use something like um, a magnet, for example, or like I said, a paper clip where I could undo it. So this one is a little bit different. You can see it's a little bit more open with the pattern, even though I do have it kind of clustered a little bit more. And then I think I may have, oh, we've got one more round one that is even a slightly different color. So this is kind of a in between the um, turquoise and the green. This is kind of more of a deeper teal. So wow, that's really fun. I wound up with three, so I'm not sure how many everybody gets, but I think you can maybe see the different colors. I'll definitely take some photos for you guys over on Instagram. I love this. It's very um, kind of beachy in a way. So that would definitely work if I one day get to have my um, beachy tree that I would like to do. So you can see that one turquoise is definitely much brighter. It says, we love to use these fold out paper decorations for the holiday season. They're pretty to hang on your Christmas tree and also look good displayed in a bowl. Each box will include a set of three different colors. Colors and sizes will vary. Find more colors and sizes in the boutique. So let me just show you guys lots of pretty jewel colors, but you can see some of them had different shapes. I would love to add some shapes. I love this deep plum like eggplant color there too. So that is super cool. All right, let's see what else we've got. This is from Sabre, so it came in this little container. Let me see if I can open this up. How does this open? Huh, I might have to might have to get a little creative. And then I think the last piece that we'll have, of course, is our beautiful art print because they have like a featured artist that has been doing prints for the entire year. So if you were subscribed for the entire year, then you would have four. You could do like a nice, uh, I would get not a triptych, but something else. So look at this beautiful knife, you guys. So it says, when we think about the French Alps, we immediately think of the traditional delicious cheese. Although we could not include actual French cheese, we thought of the next best thing, a cheese knife. This luxurious cheese knife from Sabre is made with a festive red toile de jouet de jouy pattern. Um, it says it is dishwasher safe. I love this handle, you guys. I will definitely show you more over on the gram. So let me see. I think we're still looking for a couple more pieces. Oh, so here is our vintage item. So we all got a wooden spoon, which is very exciting to me. So let me unwrap this. So I'm trying to keep this fairly quick. We actually have a couple more items. So the antique wooden spoon looks like this. I love that kind of pointy shape on it. It says these adorable wood spoons will give the perfect cabin touch to any home. Placed in a bowl with other utensils or out on a shelf, all have been washed and are ready for use. Styles and sizing may vary. So that's kind of a fun antique item. I think I loved my, my porcelain vase last time. We do have something else wrapped up in tissue that's soft. So they've definitely kind of given us a lot of sort of entertaining and tableware in this box, which I, I like for us because you guys know I love food. So these are super cute linens. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's it got a nice stripe, so I love this natural color. And then look at this little embroidered like donkey on here, you guys. Let me see what these are because I actually got two different sets of things. So let me find this in the booklet. I think I saw them for a second. So these are two napkins and table mats by Sylvie Thierrier. Lovely. So this must be the table mats. It says these adorable napkins and table mats will give a cute cabin touch to your next meal with a loved one. They're woven chambray with embroidered donkeys drawn in a contemporary style. I think that's really cute. It's a little bit like rustic and country for me, but I love donkeys. I think they're adorable. My only like disappointment with that, of course, is that there's just two napkins and two table mats. I would have maybe preferred to have at least four 
four napkins because again I like things in sets of four but hopefully you can find more um, on their site so here finally is our print so let me find a little information this is our final watercolor print from Michel Charrier this year we're delighted to be working with Michel Charrier as our resident artist his poetic watercolors elicit a light and carefree mood and he loves to feature big bouquets displayed in colorful romantic interiors if you're one of our regular subscribers you will now have an art collection comprising all all four original Michel Charrier French interiors. For our new subscribers, you can finish your collection with prints found over in the boutique. So I might have to do that, or I have two, and I think they might look nice just having the two together, maybe even framed in the same frame. Let me know what you guys thought about this gorgeous winter box from my French country home. I think this will continue to be my splurge box. I really love it. I love the candle, of course. I love the Le Creuset. I even love the little cheese knife because I love cheese. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.